Welcome back. The 2023 and 2024 Broadway season culminates tonight at the Tony Awards here on CBS2. It was an incredible year in theater from new plays and musicals to reimagined revivals. An acting legend returned and some newcomers made their mark. CBS2's Dave Carlin reports on the year on Broadway. Open your balance along. Big stars blazed onto Broadway. Daniel Radcliffe and Jonathan Groff in Merrily We Roll Along. Is there something about this show that tells you something about friendship? Even if relationships don't end in a perfect way, it doesn't mean that there wasn't a huge amount of meaning and value in them. Getting to celebrate this show and this moment with the two of them is the stuff that dreams are made of. It really is incredible. Jessica Lang and Jim Parsons in Mother Play. I love to play emotional turmoil. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. There's something complicated in the human dynamic of mother and child. Eddie Redmayne in Cabaret, Sarah Paulson in Appropriate. And I got out the shower and there was a, a, a phone call telling me, which was wonderful. My single mom took me to see theater anytime she could. Jeremy Strong in An Enemy of the People, Liev Schreiber in Doubt. The theater for me is sort of the highest bar uh, as an actor. It just hits so many notes about polarization about cancel culture. <laughs> Rachel McAdams in Mary Jane and Leslie Odom Jr. in Pearly Victorious, who he spoke with alongside his nominated co-star Carrie Young. It's super meaningful to have a reappraisal of this American classic. Two original shows are tied for top of the pack as most nominated, 13 each for Hell's Kitchen and Stereophonic. Hell's Kitchen with songs by Alicia Keys blends the jukebox musical format with a new dramatic narrative based on her life. And Stereophonic, set in a recording studio. In both are nominated actors making Broadway debuts. Hell's Kitchen's Malia Joy Moon. I think that making art that people can see themselves reflected in is probably like the biggest gift that you can give. And Sarah Pigeon of Stereophonic. I think it, it touches everyone. I think a fool could have done better. Audiences already knew the plots of many of this season's shows. And have you met our great ringmaster? Musical versions of classics. The Outsiders earned 12 nominations, seven for Water for Elephants. The Great Gatsby got one. Back to the Future has two nominations and a pair of adaptations with three each, The Notebook and Days of Wine and Roses, including one for previous winner and eight-time nominee Kelly O'Hara. Help us unpack that character. A beautiful human being with the disease of alcoholism because the truth of this disease is that it wrecks lives. Revivals reinvigorated and rocked Broadway. The Who's Tommy came back. And so did Cabaret. The The season saw women breaking through barriers on stage, backstage, and in every planning stage. Suffs about the suffragist movement, created by Shayna Taub, also its star. I'm Ariana DeBose, and I am hosting the Tony Awards. I love seeing so many women up on stage because it brings more women to the theater as well. Young Ariana would have loved to see Hell's Kitchen, especially because how many times do you see a white mom with a beautiful brown child. It's rare, you don't even see it in film. You know what I and mean? That's and that's something you that relate to. that is something to. that I relate to. I have a fabulously beautiful, wonderful mother who happens to be white. And she has a beautiful black Puerto Rican daughter. And that is a wonderful thing. Women make up seven of 10 directing nominees in both the musical and play categories. In the theater district, Dave Carlin, CBS2 News. And a quick thanks to Dave and Kathy McGee and the whole team that's worked on these pieces for months, mm. getting us ready because tonight is the big night. Watch the 77th annual Tony Awards hosted by Ariana DeBose uh, at 8 p.m. right here on CBS2 streaming on Paramount+. Plus.